Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use VLOOKUP when you have multiple criteria. If you enjoy these videos and if they're of value to you, um, if you could please subscribe and comment, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's jump in right to the video. So over here, I have a data set where I have different analyst IDs. However, some analyst IDs are duplicated. So as you can see, analyst ID 38 corresponds to Catherine Parker, but it also corresponds to Martin Price. Now, what I want to do is I want to use VLOOKUP to look up analyst ID 30, 38 and look up the analyst name, Catherine Parker, and I want to find her phone number. So if I were to just search up analyst ID 38, um, it would come up as Catherine Parker or Martin Price but I want Catherine Parker in particular. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two criterias for my VLOOKUP. Number one is that in column A, it has to be 38. And number two is that in column B, it has to be Catherine Parker. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do first is we're going to create a new column, okay? So I'm gonna go into home and insert a new column to the left. This is gonna be the new column A. What I'm going to do in this column is I'm going to use a concatenate function and I'm going to join the text analyst ID, which is the first criteria of my VLOOKUP, and the analyst name, which is the second criteria of my VLOOKUP. Okay, so it's going to join these two. Now, what I'm going to do is just like I would do it, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. Okay, now the thing with VLOOKUPs is that they can act a little bit funky sometimes. So what I would recommend whenever you do a we lookup is the value that you're looking up should be on the leftmost column of the of the data set. Okay. So in this case, we're going to be looking up this value and we're going to be looking up its corresponding phone number. So this is in the leftmost column of our data set. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and what am I looking for? I'm looking for um id 38 and i'm looking for Catherine parker and i'm looking for her phone number okay so that's what i'm looking for now before we get started on that step i'm just going to quickly double tap this icon just so that it drags down the formula for the rest of the rows. Okay. Now, in order to find this phone number, I'm simply going to do the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to write equals VLOOKUP. Okay. This time, instead of doing this value and this value, I'm just going to pick this value. Okay. The table array is going to be this table. Okay. And the column index number. So what do I want to return? I want to find the phone number, right? Which column is the phone number in? Well, one, two, three, four. It's in column four. So column four, and I want the exact match, right? So false, and that's going to give me the phone number for Catherine Parker. Um, well, in, well, in this case, I did A2, but I could do, for example, Catherine Parker, which is A3. So, so with this example, A3, there we go. 403-555-5317 and 403-555-5317. So this can be quite helpful because imagine if in this data set we had two Catherine Parkers. In this case, if I were to search Catherine Parker by itself, then the system would get confused as to which one I want the phone number for, for this one or for this one. Or if I were to search the analyst ID, the system would get confused as to which analyst ID I want. Do I want this one or do I want this one? So by doing this, I have kind of narrowed down, down what I exactly want. I exactly want analyst ID 38 and the analyst name to be Catherine Parker. Now, you wouldn't really use this in a data set with names such as Catherine Parker because there usually aren't duplicate names. But this can be useful when you're dealing with a different type of data set. Um, 
So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you use a VLOOKUP when you have multiple criteria. Hope that helped and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.